Hello guys, welcome to this episode of DOSBite where I will be discussing and talking about the history of my Windows 98 build which is right here. But just before we carry on, I just want to say I do weekly videos on DOS computers, old computers, old consoles, old games and basically all to do with things like that and especially floppy disks. Anyway, without further ado, let's talk about my uh, PC build. So this actually originally, um, in its original case, it was an old Packard Bell, had Windows XP in, and it was the first one I bought with my own money um, back when I was a teenager, back in the day. Um, and, you know, it was my pride of joy for a few years until I was able to, you know, get something better down the line. But anyway, so fast forward 20 plus years, and um, <laughs> I decided after building my own computer, sort of a modern gaming machine, that I wanted to build something retro. So basically I thought I'd keep the case for sort of sentimental value and all that sort of jazz. And I wanted a 98 build and I had the my awesome um, Windows 98 uh, laptop over here, uh, which I use for gaming a lot. But I just thought it'd be really cool to sort of build one. So basically I stripped out a lot of the parts that weren't working because a lot of it wasn't working. And I basically kept, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, quite, yeah. Um, I basically kept the motherboard, which was a Celeron, had a Celeron chip on it, running at one gigahertz, um, which isn't a lot, but obviously way more than you need for Windows 98. Um, I got a old, I thought, how can I reinstall Windows easy? Because I know older Windows can be a bit of a pain, so a little power tip actually, uh, as long as it's compatible. I actually got a Windows 98 drive from an even older computer, which funny enough was also a Packard Bell, so that might have helped a little bit, um, which I knew was working, but the rest of that computer was broken. So I basically um, put that in, changed a couple of the drives. Um, I'm actually debating of changing the floppy dot sometime, because um, way back in the day, my younger brother decided to put a GameCube disc and wrap it in there, which was cool, but he was a kid. Uh, <laughs> so that's a little bit um, temp temperamental, the floppy drive, but I will um, swap that out at some point. But And off I went. So I turned it on, did some troubleshooting, and it didn't work straight away. I had to install a lot of drivers um, because it was on a new board, and it was like, oh, I'm, I've got a new chip and all the rest of it. Um, but that version of Windows eventually corrected itself, did some troubleshooting. And basically what I did was I just installed the drivers. I let it install its onboard very basic graphics, whatever the motherboard had, uh, just installed a few of the drivers. But my only massive problem actually, once I got into the OS, um, I couldn't believe I got it working. I was like, oh, I actually got Windows 9. I honestly thought I was gonna have to do a clean reinstall and all the rest of it. It was quite handy because a lot of my old games were all inside here, which was very handy. Um, but I couldn't get the sound to work. Please put in the comments below if you have an easy way to fix the sound and I'll perhaps talk about that in a video. Um, but I don't, know if you, I don't know if it's worth moving this, I could do it with a turntable without moving the whole set out. Yeah, let's just do that. I actually got myself um, a little USB dongle. It's actually a portable, basically, it's basically a sound card, but a mini version, and it's compatible with Windows 98 up. And uh, I was a bit, you know, because obviously USB isn't always fully supported. <laughs> isn't always fully supported as I break my set. <laughs> um, um, USB isn't always supported in the very early version of Windows 98 without, you know, update drivers and, or if you've got the SE version or whatever, the, se the second edition. Um, but I watched this, I basically did what a lot of us do now, watch a video on YouTube, and it worked! And I literally plugged and played, it auto-installed its driver, I just had to go through the control panel, um, install the driver, um, it recognised a new hardware, and it worked! Um, and I could not believe it, so I was able then to play SimCity, Civilization, Red Alert, Warcraft 2, um, my favourite game of all time, I've not had a go at that, there's, there's the dick. <laughs> um, but that was basically how I was able to fix the sound problem. And I have seen people out there that have gone, oh, it's not really good, the rest of it. But I had it plugged to a telly and it found, it sounded perfectly fine to me. I was perfectly happy with it. Massive, massive recommendation um, to get one of them. Just type in USB um, sound card, plug and play 
and as long as it says compatible for at least Windows 98 upwards or Windows 2000, depending on what operation op OS you've got, um, it should work fine. And it literally costs two or three pounds or dollars, so if it doesn't work, it's you know, you haven't spent a lot of money. Um, so yeah, so I was massively happy with this. I couldn't believe it. If you're getting value so far, smash the like button and consider subscribing if you like more videos like this. Um, and we do have some links to floppy disks and stuff, so check it out in the links below. And a massive shout out actually before I carry on to our 60,000 members on our Facebook uh, community. It's, it's absolutely amazing to see all the old computers and and games that people play and share over there. So if you want to be part of that, there's a link to that in the description below. And if you're watch, if you're one of those people watching, big massive wave and shout out to you. You guys absolutely rock. Um, so yeah, so that is basically the story of my home Windows 98 build. <laughs> and I, you probably think, well, do I plan to do anything else with it? Yes, I, I'm debating about taking off this panel, putting in a five and a half floppy disk drive, just because why not? Um, I'm debating a, maybe a sort of a compatible of the time graphic card, maybe a Voodoo card, so if you've got any recommendations, put them in the comments below. And if you've got, you know, your story of um, your own Windows 95 or Windows 98 build, or even a DOS build, please put in the comments below, it'd be really fascinating to find out. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about how I did this in more detail, feel free to ask. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And as you can probably tell, it's a heat wave at the time of calling this video. <laughs> See you later.